In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use an SQLite database within a Titanium mobile app. So we are going to start off with a program uh, that we've, we've seen this before, um, essentially a list that uh, we can add to. Uh, but what we want to make sure happens is uh, we want to be able to have the list be persistent. So, uh, so I have a blank list here. I'm going to add an item, say hello, add that to my list. I want this thing to stay persistent. So if I, if I quit the program and restart, which I'll do here, if I quit and restart, I want to have that list item remain. Uh, I don't want it to disappear. Uh, and right now, when I do this, I start it back up, that list item is gone. So, uh, so we want to use a, 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 a database to do this, and we're going to do this with SQLite. All right, so to start off with, we need to create a database, and I'm going to use Firefox to do this. There's actually a plugin for Firefox called SQLite Manager, and uh, if you just do a Google on Firefox SQLite Manager, You'll find a link to the uh, to the add-on, and you can just download that right into uh, and add that to Firefox. So I already have that in there, so I'm going to just go ahead and click on SQL Lite, uh, and it's going to bring up the manager. And I'm going to use this to create uh, a database. So um, I need to select a directory where that's going to happen. So I'm going to choose uh, I'm going to choose the user default directory. Uh, and actually I can select what the default directory is and I already have a directory here that's uh, um, being used for this purpose so I'm just going to use that directory and then I'm going to create the new database so I'll click there and I'm going to call my uh, database uh, uh, I'll call it list example Okay, and that'll save that uh, to um, my directory. So I'll click open, and then what I need to do is add a table to this uh, to this database. So I'm going to use this uh, create table icon to do that. It's going to give me uh, a dialog. I'm going to call this list, and the first column I will call ID. And make that my primary key. And then the name, which will be text and description, which will be text. So this ID is just going to be a number that identifies uh, a row, and the name and description are, uh, as, the, as you would think, just a name and a description. Um, for this example, we'll probably only use name, but uh, I want to I uh, wanted to add multiple columns here, so click on, on OK and Yes, that'll create my table. And now when I select the table, we see the columns defined here. We can also, uh, we can also add items to, um, to the table, um, but uh, I'm going to just leave them, I'm going to leave them blank for the moment. Um, uh, I guess we could... Uh, Add some here, but uh, I'm going to use the app to actually add items to the table, and, and um, so we'll do it there. Okay, so it's only need of SQLite Manager and Firefox. Uh, so what I'm going to do with uh, with this app that I have is I'm going to uh, I'm going to modify it, and uh, you should be able to download this um, this app, which I'm going to call Database Start uh, from the um, um, the course repository. I do have uh, just the standard stuff that we've been looking at before with uh, list. I'm going to add items to the list when the table is uh, table is created, um, and then also um, some stuff here for reacting to when a button is pressed. And actually, this uh, the the starting point for the app already does a lot of this. It, of course, it's not loading anything into um, into the list to start off with, but I can add something here so. Say hello world, for instance, 
and that should be an item in my table. Okay, so there's two things that we want to do. In this episode, I'm going to finish off with just adding stuff to the table from uh, from a database. Uh, actually, I want to uh, do two things. I want to, uh, just the one thing, I just want to um, add something from a, an empty database. Um, uh, sorry, add to this list uh, from the database. Okay. So uh, what I need to do is uh, a couple of things, uh, and I'm just going to comment this. I need to um, I need to install the database. This will happen one time, and then I need to load data from the database. And um, the command that I need to use to install the database is. Um, ti.database.install and then I'm going to provide the name of the database which will be called list example SQL light and then an internal name for the database I'm just going to call this DB okay now in order for this to work I need to uh, get a copy of the database and put it into um, into the project directory. So make it a databases. There's my there's my uh, my database. I'm just going to take this and drop it right into the resources directory of the uh, of the app. And if I've done it correctly, which it looks like I haven't. So I can drop it right there. So I'm going to copy the files project. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> we should be ready there. Now, um, I probably do need to add some data to this database just so that we'll see it um, actually working. Um, so we can do a browse and search, and I'm going to add a data item into this. Um, I'm going to call this number one. Uh, the item I'm going to add is I'm just going to call it first item and the description. This is the first item in the database. Just add that, just so that when we actually read something from the database, we'll actually um, see something in there. Um, okay, and then actually, now that I've done that, I actually need to recopy this database into my directory. file there and I'm going to overwrite it. Okay. So uh, so now what I want to do is I want to uh, populate an array with um, the contents of this database. So I'm going to uh, create an empty array first. Um, and then I'm going to uh, check to see whether or not uh, the data array is empty. So if that length is equal to zero, uh, and just just to make sure that if I ever revisit the view, let's say that I've uh, navigated away from this window, um, then when it starts up again, um, we'll want to know whether or not uh, the data has already been loaded or not. All right, and then uh, I need to open the database. And this is my list DB. Um, and then I need to actually read the items from the database. I'm going to call, I'm going to create a variable called DB rows, and I'm going to execute the following command. Just select. Um, and then uh, we had a, a column called name. And I'm going to take that from the list table. So from um, and uh, and then I'll leave it at that. So there's a number of other things that we could do here with the with the SQL, um, but you want to take a look at the SQL uh, documentation on on the full commands. All right, so uh, almost done here. Um, 
I want to now check to see whether or not what I've just read is valid data. So I'm going to do is valid row. And I'm going to uh, then push the data that I've gotten from the uh, uh, from the database uh, into the array. And so I'm just going to use name um, and then db rows so uh, this is constructing a, a JSON object so there's name which is the, the property I'm filling and then I'm going to db rows field by name name and actually I could go even farther with this uh, let's see if I do get name and description and create a description field here. Okay. Um, so, and then I want to make sure that I iterate to the next item in the table. And then finally, uh, I'm going to um, close the the rows as well as the table so db that close okay so when we're done with this loop here this data array should be filled with um, the contents of the database and then we'll pass that to the table and the table will be um, populated okay so let's go ahead and compile and run this. Okay, so here's our app. Oh, I've messed something up here. Um, See, so I've opened the database, I've installed it, I've opened it. Uh, what is the so I've iterated through? Oh, I know. Um, in the list window here, I should be telling this to print out a name. Try it again. So anyway, so there's our, um, there's our list. Um, so that's the item that uh, was contained in the database. OK, so um, anyways, to, to recap, uh, we created a database. We, uh, we added it to the, the project directories underneath resources. Um, and then uh, we installed the database. And this is. Uh, this is just going to happen once, and once it gets installed in the app, it, um, it's no longer going to take the data from the, the original database that we created, but rather create a version that's, uh, that's stored uh, uh, within the local data of the app. And then uh, what we've done here is we've done a query on the database um, to read items that are in it, uh, and then created these data items that we've uh, pushed on to uh, this array, the data array. And pass that to one of our uh, our table um, functions for uh, displaying a table. In the next episode, the next lesson, we're going to look at how to um, how to add items to a database, uh, not just uh, read from the database.